Couscous is a North African dish of steamed durum with semolina that is traditionally paired with a stew spooned on top, usually served on Friday but also offered during baptisms and wedding celebrations. In Moroccan homes, making couscous is an expression of love, generosity, and hospitality. Couscous became a staple in France too. Here is my modest couscous version. So, when it comes to stew and braising, the liquid in which meat is going to be slow cooked should be the center of attention. Indeed, in French cuisine, taste comes first. Therefore, couscous is no exception. Using a robust homemade chicken stock rather than water makes a huge difference. Cut lamb shoulder or neck into 8 ounces, 250 gram portions. Avoid small cuts though as it shrinks during cooking time. Now the bouillon. In a large pot, add the chilled chicken stock, cinnamon stick, ginger, raselle nut slice, arissa, thyme, bay leaf, cilantro stems, lamb leg bone, lamb meat, a whole head of garlic, tomatoes, and salt. Bring to a boil and cook on low heat for 90 minutes. So by the time it cooks, you're gonna have lots of impurities rising up as well as fat. So you want to get rid of all of the impurities or scum. And as it cooks, I would suggest that 70% of the fat should be discarded. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prep the vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the carrots. You want to peel them first, rinse them off, trim, and cut into three inch, seven centimeter sticks, and split in half the thickest parts of the carrots. Next, I'm gonna take care of the bell peppers. Remove the stem, portion, get rid of the white membranes and seeds. I've got a couple of extra peppers that I'm gonna cut into brunoise, three millimeter cubes. That's gonna be for the couscous later, the French touch. For the turnips, trim both ends generously and peel with your paring knife. Remove the skin and the first layer of the flesh, indeed, Turnips skin has got strong aromas. Cut in four and leave it like this or turn into fancy shapes called tourne in French. Don't bother with that though, it's optional. Next, the zucchini. Much easier to handle. Cut in two, same length as the carrots and use a zester to get that striped fancy looking. Beautiful. If you don't have a zester though, you can use your vegetable peeler instead. Next, the cabbage, and I'm gonna use half of it, that's plenty. And by the way, keep the core intact so it won't separate during cooking. It smells already incredible here, that is so amazing. Well, I guess it's been uh, 90 minutes, so now I'm gonna add the chicken and cook for an additional 45 minutes. And halfway through though, I'm gonna add the carrots. By the time the meat is cooking slowly, I'm gonna make a spiced onion marmalade. That goes so well with the lamb. No kidding, very easy indeed. I'm gonna cook on low heat for about an hour. All together, onions, raisins, uh, olive oil, butter, cinnamon, turmeric, razel anout, a bit of brown sugar, salt, and a dash of chicken stock. When it begins to caramelize, it's done. Gorgeous. I believe that the meat is cooked by now, so I'm going to drain the lamb, chicken and remove the carrots as well, discard chicken skin and pass this fantastic bouillon or broth through a sieve and continue to cook on low, remove impurities and excess fat. Fair enough, fat gives taste to the food, but not in an excessive way. Here is the beast. The couscousier. <laughs> it's a fancy one, though a stainless colander with a pot underneath will do the trick. So let's have some fun. Now I'm gonna cook the remaining veggies in that awesome couscousier. Cover with the bouillon and cook for about 20 minutes, though traditional couscous recipes call for overcooked vegetables. That way though, they rather turn mushy. Therefore, presentation-wise, might not be the greatest, but it's up to you. 
Now the steamed durum with semolina. First, I'm going to mix semolina with some olive oil. So then each grain is going to be coated in olive oil. All right, so my chicken stock is boiling. So the ratio here is one to one. Then we're going to steam the couscous twice. Watch. Stir up with a fork, cover it, and leave it alone for four minutes. Next step, fluff it up and spread the couscous onto a large tray. Scoop the couscous into your palm and rub your hands together. Rubbing couscous between your palms separates the couscous from clumping. Add bell pepper brunoise if desired and transfer couscous to the steamer and place on top of the vegetables that are cooking so the aromas go through the couscous. Let's steam for 20 minutes, then remove vegetables and repeat the same step for the couscous. Then 20 minutes before serving, reheat the meat with the couscous on top and throw vegetables in the pot 3 minutes before serving. For the presentation, let your imagination go. I hope guys you have enjoyed this special couscous episode. To get the full recipe and more, go to brunoalbuz.com. Don't forget to subscribe and download my first free ebook. So as soon as you have tried this recipe out, take a peek and tag me on Instagram at Bruno Albuz. Have a beautiful day and see you soon. For the hot sauce, I'm going to mix harissa with some of the broth. Oh, that's hot. Ha, ha, ha. Wow.